three letters, A, B, and C, are taken from a set of letter tiles and arranged to form words. In this question, A, C, B counts as a word, even though it's not an actual English word. In part A, use a tree diagram to find the number of unique words. Set up columns for the first letter, second letter, and third letter. Begin with the letter tile A. The second letter tile could be B or C. And the third letter tile could be C or B. In our next case, we'll begin with the letter B. The second letter tile could be A or C. And the third letter tile could be C or A. In the final case, we'll begin with the letter C. The second letter tile could be A or B. And the third letter tile could be B or A. There are six words that can be formed. In part B, use the fundamental counting principle to find the number of unique words. Tree diagrams can become unmanageable for large samples. Fortunately, there is a mathematical shortcut to tree diagrams called the fundamental counting principle. Set up positions for the first, second, and third letters. We have the letters A, B, and C in our sample set. We'll use permutation tiles to represent each letter in the sample set. We do this because using actual letters would make our work look like a specific arrangement rather than generalized counting. There are three letters available for the first position. Use one of the permutation tiles and carry the others forward. There are two letters available for the second position. Use one of the permutation tiles and carry the final tile forward. There is one letter available for the third position. And finally, multiply the numbers together to get the total number of arrangements, 6. In Part C, use permutation notation to find the number of unique words. Evaluate using a calculator. The word permutation is just another way to say arrangement. In a permutation, the order of the items is important. So, ABC is a different permutation than ACB because the order of the letters is different. A permutation is represented with the notation NPR, where N is the number of items in our set, and R is the number of items to be arranged. In this example, we can arrange all three letter tiles, A, B, and C, using the notation 3P3. Three 3P3 three can be evaluated in a TA-83 calculator with the input sequence 3, math, left arrow, NPR, 3. The result is 6, the same as in parts A and B. In part D, what is meant by the terms single case permutation and multi case permutation?
A single case permutation occurs when we arrange the items of a set with only one draw from the set. For example, to make a three letter word out of ABC, we draw all three letters out of the set and arrange them. This can be done in 3P3 ways. This is a single case permutation because we draw all three items from the sample set and then stop. A multi-case permutation occurs when we arrange the items of a set with more than one draw from the set. For example, to make a two or three letter word out of ABC, we first draw and arrange two letters from the set, represented by 3P2, then we draw and arrange three letters from the set, represented by 3P3. Add the results to get the total number of arrangements. The answer is 3P2 plus 3P3. Make the two letter word using two permutation tiles. Restock and redraw. Make the three letter word using three permutation tiles. This is a multi case permutation because we draw two items from the sample set, then we restock and redraw three items from the sample set. In part E, use permutations to find the number of ways a one, two or three letter word can be formed. We have the letters A, B, C in our sample set. Use permutation tiles to represent each letter. Set up one position for a one letter word. Draw one letter out of the sample set and stop. We can fill this position in 3P1 ways since we have three items and we want to arrange one. Restock and redraw. Set up two positions for a two letter word. Draw two letters out of the sample set and stop. We can fill this position in 3P2 ways since we have three items and we want to arrange two. Restock and redraw. Set up three positions for a three letter word. Draw all the letters out of the sample set and stop. We can fill this position in 3P3 ways since we have three items and we want to arrange all of them. Add the arrangements for the three cases together. There are 15 arrangements in total.